with other diverse groups of Kenyans, including religious leaders from all faiths about the crisis facing our country. They implored us to give dialogue, especially during the holy periods of Easter and Ramadan. It is in this context that we agreed to call off the protest and give dialogue a chance. We are guided by the words of the late J. John F. Kennedy, who says, and I quote, let us never negotiate out of fear, out of fear but let us never fear to negotiate. Quote. We go into these negotiations holding the firm belief that our cause is just, our intentions are pure, and our goal is patriotic. We go into these talks convinced that some issues, in particular lowering the price of food, is urgent, can't wait, and does not even need the talks. Opening of the servers is not negotiable. We agree that a balanced process spearheaded by members of parliament from both, from, from both sides and backed by experts is an appropriate way to proceed. The end product will then be presented to parliament for approval. We shall send our members to the select joint committee whose terms of reference shall be to A. Recommend measures to lower the cost of hunger, fuel, electricity and school fees. B. Conduct a review and forensic audits of the servers used by the IBC before, during and after the 2022 presidential election. C. Review the appointment and dismissal of IBC commissioners, including their chain of office, and recommend institutional, policy, legal, and constitutional mechanisms, restructuring and reforms of the IEBC. D. Consider the constructuring of IBC by devolving structures to counties and whether the country really needs commissioners working on a permanent basis. E. Recommend legal, policy and institutional reforms to strengthen and improve the electoral system and processes to entrench a culture of free and fair elections administered in an impartial, transparent, simple, accurate, verifiable and secure system. F. Review the circumstances that led to the dismissal of the IEBC commissioners commonly known as the Cherera Four, and reinstate them in office. G. Review and recommend changes in the law that will entrench party discipline, fidelity, by 1. Requiring MPs who cross party lines after the elections to seek a fresh mandate from the electorate. And two, to allow parties to replace nominated MPs who cross party lines. <laughs> H. Initiate legislation to address the electoral, governance, and economic gaps identified during the inquiry for consideration by the Houses as appropriate. The Joint Task Force shall present its report to Parliament within 30 days of its establishment. Finally, we reiterate three important points. One, as J.F. Kennedy says, and I quote, civility is not a sign of weakness, 
and sincerity is always subject to proof. And proof. Two, the right to assemble, demonstrate, petition, and speak are ironclad as provided for in our constitution. Three, we reserve our right to call for demonstrations should this process not bear fruit. Should, should there be no meaningful engagement or response from Kenya Kwanzaa, we will not hesitate to mobilize Kenyans to demand their rights within the framework of Article 37 of our Constitution. We are driven by the concern that in spite of the 2010 Constitution, our political culture retains a winner-take-all system. This is what has clearly been demonstrated by the older regime. This monopoly of power, by hook or crook, by the party in the State House, can only be rectified with a thoughtful, deliberative process involving all Kenyans. We need a proper constitutional review to cure the governance defects in the 2010 Constitution and remove the last vestiges of an imperial presidency. In our dialogue with Kenya Kwanzaa, we'll be putting this matter on the table. Thank you, and God bless Kenya. Thank you.